G'day guys, welcome back. I wanted to show you this new mold that I've been working on. Real quick before I pop you back up on the tripod. So, I don't know if you can see very clearly, but it's, it's a cross with angel wings. So I am going to dust the wings uh, I'm going to use this bling it. Um, it is interference gold. I'm going to do that in the center of the wings and then in these areas here that go along the outside and further down I'm going to use a darker gold. I'm going to also stick with the Perlex and this one is called Brilliant Gold. And I'm also going to, with my gold pen, I'm going to put a little bit of gold in here, I think, these, these little areas. Um, and in here, these little areas here, and down here as well, these little areas. I'm going to pop some gold in those. Same here, those and those. Maybe that. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and then um, I'm going to pour black over the top. So that is what we're going to be working on today. So let me get you organised up on the tripod on the bench and I'll be right back. Alrighty, there we go. I'll just lock that so it's not zooming in and out and in and out. Sometimes I forget to do that. Right, so I'm just going to use my little soft brush. It's actually a um, makeup brush. But oh, actually, I'll start. I think I'll start with the gold little dots. Um, and then, in case I get any mica powder over it, you know how it floats around. So, look at that. It's a nice, nice little nib there. Right. So here we go. We'll get started. So just, just something simple, black and gold. Um, I want to go around that. It's got a little. I'm not sure what I want to do <laughs> with it. Oops! I've just got some gold on my on the side there. I'll have to wipe that off. I think I'll go around like that. I'll follow that. Oops! Got some gold on that as well <laughs> on the sides. I didn't think about that, did I? All right. And this one, I'm getting gold on the sides as well. I don't think it matters too much. Let's move that out of the way and I'll come around here. I'll go in there like so. How's that? And then that's got a little, a little point like that. A little bit tricky to see where I'm going, only because it's my first time using this mould and I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing, but that's okay. I'll work it out. So I'm going to put the gold in here first and then when I peel it out, um, the gold will hopefully have stayed and it should look really pretty against the black. I need to give that a bit of a shake, I think. Put a bit more down. Okay, so that's that one done. And these pieces across here, they'll stay black. It'll just be this, this guy in here. Actually, see if I pick it up like that. Probably easier for me to see what I'm doing. Mm, no, I think I'll leave that. Oops, now I've got to be careful I don't get my hand in the way, sorry. Just do a little circle there. There. 
I'll come back and check on these actually, make sure I've done them properly. I probably need to pick them up so that I can see what's going on down here because I can't see properly from where I am. All right, let's do the same with this one. Just color in that little circle there. And this one. Pretty easy to do. I think I'm just going to give it a little tail like that. Okay, I think that's it for the gold. Oh, the top. I forgot the top. All right, let me have a look at the top. Same thing. Just give it a little swirl like that. All right, whether or not we need the little tail, I don't know. The little point there. Mm, I'll leave it for now. I, I don't think we need the extra point. Um, I'm just going to check on that. Bear with me. I'll just check on that and I'll come back to you. I put a little bit of alcohol on um, my little paper towel and I just sort of went up the sides if I'd got any of the gold up on the sides and I just cleaned that off with the alcohol. Alrighty. Still not sure about the little twirls, but anyway, <laughs> we'll leave it. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit and then I'm gonna put you on fast forward because it's probably gonna to take too long. So I'll just dip my brush in and I'm going to just start to dust these. Um, I'm going to be careful not to get too much in here, you know, where, like I don't want to put too much mica on because I don't want it falling down into those areas there because I want to keep that black. So I'm just going to go carefully with it. Look at that shimmer already. Really pretty. So just brush that on. And I'm going to go up the sides as well because it's a very 3D mold, this one. It's quite deep, it's quite heavy. <laughs> I thought it would take about 800 grams of silicone, um, but I ended up using over a kilo, so it's quite, quite heavy. Um, I might try and make it like not so deep. I'll have to, I'll have to see, because you know when I make these molds, that I think they're going to be a certain thing, and then they be thicker or deeper and then they end up being more expensive and I don't know, I always worry that you guys think they're too expensive but a kilo of silicone is is very expensive. Alright so I'm just going to continue, I've done that one section, I'm going to do that one, I'm going to come up the sides as well because the sides in here, they've also got the, um, like the, the feathered winged textures on them up there so I'm going to make sure I get right up here as well. Um, and then I'm going to move on to this section, but I'll put you on fast forward and then I'll come back to you after I've mixed my resin and we'll pour the black in. I just sprayed a little bit of alcohol onto a paper towel and then went into all these areas that I'm going to pour black in because even though I was trying to be really careful not to get the mica in there, you know what it's like, it just blows everywhere. 
So um, I just gave it a, a quick clean. Um, but you know, you could put a little bit of mica in there and then you could have a little bit of goldy black, but it just depends what you like. And then also I was thinking like if the, if the gold areas, like if they haven't turned out like exactly how I wanted them and they're a little bit messy, after I've unmolded it, I'll just go around with my black pen, my black pen, my gold pen, um, on the finished product and I'll just go over that again so it won't be a problem because it's not it's not that neat <laughs> but then if you want more of like a shabby chic look it's perfect right -o. so I've got my black resin here I'm using the platinum ultra clear because it has a longer work time and uh, because well a longer work time but also I can pour deeper um, I certainly wouldn't use the Platinum 360 Plus on a deep mold like this, it would flash cure. So if you're doing something deep, make sure that you're using a casting resin, not a coating resin. And I've got some black pigment paste, I'm just using the Batman Black from Artry Creations because that's all I've got at the moment, everything else is packed. Right, here we go. Um, so I used, I did 225 grams of A and I did... 97 grams of B. So I'm just going to pour this, actually I'll pour it here and let it flow over everything. So you can kind of see the shape now as it's flowing across. Hopefully it'll look pretty once it's done. Whoops, I don't want to go over the top. Hang on. Hang on. I'm not going over the top. Yeah, maybe I made up too much. I really I had no idea how much to use because it's the first time I'm using the mold and I didn't fill it up with water. And um, you can fill your things up with water, your molds up with water, and that'll tell you how much you know um, resin you're gonna need. But then I've got the issue of oh I've got to wait for it to dry. I'll be more careful where I'm pouring my resin, I think. I don't want to go over the top. So yeah, I'm thinking about making one that's not quite so deep, but you guys let me know what you think, what your thoughts are. I don't know that it would save a lot of money being just a little bit thinner. Because um, that just goes by the cost of the silicone, really. Okay, here we go. Now we're pretty much all covered, so now I'm just going to push the resin into these little areas. Oh, look at that, it's still going. Maybe I was right with my calculations. <laughs> and make sure that your bench is nice and flat. I don't think mine's all that flat. <laughs> Hang on, let me move something. I've got a little, oops, I'm gonna get this little thing out from underneath here if I can lift it up without, there we go, I've got that underneath. I might have to actually prop that side up and let it flow this way. But yeah, just go slow. This little bit here looks as if it's, <laughs> it's going underwater and this isn't, I may just prop that top bit up. But that's fine. Look, you know, it's a handmade mold. Um, it's never going to be as perfect as one of those that are, you know, made in a factory, mass produced. It's, well, even those aren't that good, are they? But look, I try my best with my molds. So, oh, look, where I'm popping bubbles, the mica powder's coming up. I did try not to leave too much on there. So, anyway, I'm just going to prop that up with something, maybe I'll use this. Bear with me, I'm just gonna, actually I'll just get a pop stick. Wait one sec, I'll just grab a, a pop stick and I'm gonna pop that under my board, over here. Let's lift that corner up, let's pop that underneath. You probably can't see that, but anyway, popping it underneath. We'll see how it goes. Look, if something does go under, like that area there, if it goes under, it's fine. We'll just peel it off afterwards. So don't be too concerned. 
if it goes under. Put a little bit more on. All right, so basically that's about it. Um, yeah, oh, I'm so looking forward to unmolding it. So I will have to leave this a good 24 hours probably um, for it to cure and then we'll unmold. So exciting. All right. Um, I can't need to zoom in on for you. We're just going to have to wait and be patient until tomorrow. Right. I will see you then. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the next day. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. It's so heavy. Oh dear. All right. Um, I couldn't sleep last night. I was so looking forward to unmolding this today. Right. Shall we do it? Hopefully it comes out nicely. Oh, look, it's coming out nicely. Pull that away. I love the sound it makes when the resin pulls away from the mold. Oh, look, a sneak peek. Oh gosh, this is exciting. All right, let's see if I can get it out of this bit here. A tricky little bit. Oh, no, it comes out really easily, look. <laughs> amazing, amazing. So it's not going to be shiny. But um, I didn't want it shiny. If you want your surface of anything that you make, if you want it shiny, it's out. Um, you can just spray it with some um, like clear varnish if you want it to be shiny. And there we go. There's the mould. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Are we ready? Oh, that's much lighter. <laughs> okay. Let me know if you want me to make any more of these. Hey, actually, you should wait and see what it looks like first before you decide if you want one. All right, here we go. Are we ready? Should we do the countdown? Because I'm going to flip it this way. One, two, three. Oh, shut the front door. No way. Oh, that is gorgeous. This is actually darker. These ones are darker than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be lighter. The interference gold. There's not a lot of difference between the two shades of gold. This gold here matches this more. And now that I can see it, I'm definitely not going to be painting any more gold because I really like that sort of muted look. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous, you guys. Oh, I love it. Let's go in for a close-up, shall we? Start up here. I'll aim it towards the light so that you can see a little bit better. So those were the gold little baubles that I painted on. And you can see in there that it's kind of got that aged, <clears throat> almost crackle look, which I think, in hindsight, it looks gorgeous. It actually matches with this. And I'm not just saying that because that's what I've got. I think if I, like if I had to go and paint these on again and make them bright gold, I don't think it'll match as well. I think that's, I think that's really pretty. I probably shouldn't have, you know how I did the little circle and then followed through? I probably shouldn't have done that. I don't think it needs it. I think just the circles would have been fine. Just talking out loud here about what I thought. Oh, a little bit of tiny overflow just there. Easy enough just to sand back if you've got any overflow. Oh, wow, I love it. So you can see the difference between the two colours of the gold. Like I said, there's not a lot of colour difference. Um, I probably should have used... Um, I'll do that next time. I've, I've got a, um, in, oh, is, is it interference? No, it's more of a cream. I'll use the cream. That's what I was going for. I was going for cream and then gold, but the interference gold, I looked at the bottle and I thought, oh yeah, that looks pretty creamy, but it's not. It's more gold, isn't it? And there's the bottom. There's the whole thing. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think it's okay being this thickness? There's my thumb, my thumbnail. <laughs> or do you think I should try and make it a little bit thinner? See, it peters down and it gets thinner, so it's really difficult for me to make this thinner unless I sort of put it on an angle. So that's the only bit that's thick, but it means that the whole mold is this thick, you see. 
<clears throat> so it does waste a lot of silicone. But I guess if you really love a mould, you you love the mould and you want the mould. So there we go. Oh, love it. Look at those feather details. It's just incredible. How good would this look with the colour shifting pigments? Like you could do a different colour up here and then a different one there and then these ones could be a different one, the colour shifting. My, my, I've packed all mine, so oh, I don't know. I might have to go through the, the garage and <laughs> unpack all the boxes and find it. It's the problem with packing things, isn't it? As soon as you pack something, that's when you want it. So you could easily put a little hanger here. Probably wouldn't do it there, maybe here, a little hanger, and you could hang that um, on your wall, on your door, above your bed, or you could just stand it um, on your bookshelf somewhere. It would just, it's just amazing. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, I better go. I've been yammering on for over five minutes. You guys let me know what you think of it. Um, it's not in my store just yet uh, because I've only just made the one, the prototype, which this is. Um, my prototype, just the first one. But um, I can make more if you guys want one. Let me know. All right, got to go. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.